about to go rafting. How are you feeling? Stoked. Stoked. We're going to do the Pacquari River. This was our first adventure in Costa Rica. We went rafting with Whitewater Excitement, a company out of Turialba, Costa Rica. Turialba is about two hours from San Jose Airport, but it is on some windy roads, so we recommend making the trek during daylight. During the drive, our guide told us about the region and the people that live there. He shared some history about the river and what to expect once we got on the water. He also pointed out different animals that we passed along the way. The towns located in this area were so vibrant and unlike anything I'd seen before. Then we began our descent into the Pacuare River. I give these bus drivers a 12 out of 10 because these roads were treacherous and they maneuvered them like it was no big deal. Finally, we arrived at the bottom. Drew works for Whitewater Excitement's sister company in the United States, so he has been hearing about this magical river for years. It was time to suit up and get on the river. They provided all of the gear and gave us some safety instructions if we were to fall out. The water was refreshing and incredibly clear. As we floated through the jungle, our guide pointed out birds, insects, and unique river features. The rapids were so much fun and very technical, so we had to work as a team. The company cooked lunch, sandwiches, cookies, chips, and our personal favorite, fruit. Rafting exhausts your energy, and I wish we had brought a snack on the drive. It was time to get back on the river, and this is where my favorite part of the entire experience came in. We were able to hop out of the boat and actually swim in the river. We floated through this beautiful canyon that was one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. We braved a few more rapids and then packed up and made the trek back to Turialba. We met up with some of the guides for some ridiculously good barbecue. One of the guides started rafting the quarry before it was commercialized. It was so cool to hear his stories about what the river was like 30 years ago. These guides were very hospitable and kind. Drew's buddy Jorge even invited us over to his house to see his 600 chickens. Rafting the Pacquari was the perfect way to kick off our trip in Costa Rica, especially because it wiped us out that first day and it is great for all skill levels of rafters. If you do plan on adding this experience to your list, these are a few of the things I would suggest that you bring in do. The sun is on you all day on this trip, so make sure you bring enough sun protection. Whether it's sunscreen, a hat, or a long sleeve shirt, you'll want to keep the sun off you as best that you can. Bring snacks and cash. Our guide told us we wouldn't need cash, but they sold us photos at the end and there were a bunch of opportunities to buy beer or snacks. The journey there is so long and I wish I had a snack to keep my energy up. Learn about what you'll see there. There were so many species of animals and insects that I wish I knew more before I went. It's a long day, so make sure to go to bed early so you have your energy. There are some fantastic sights and experiences that you'll wanna be your best for. I have linked the website to the company we went with, and for those of you heading to Costa Rica, make sure to add Rafting the Pacquari River to your list. Yeah.